Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since we had a PowerPoint tutorial on this channel, so today is the day. Today I will teach you how to create zoom animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. It looks great and it has a lot of very practical applications in an ESL classroom. Let me show you a few. For example, you are in the classroom and this is the slide you're showing to your students. You want to know how much they know. So the first thing you do is you ask the question, what is this? Or what do you see in the picture, children? And your kids are going to say, teacher, teacher, we see a building. And you're going to say, good, good, very good children. What kind of building is this? And they're going to say, teacher, teacher, it's an apartment building. And you're going to say, good, you're very clever kids. And then you're going to click next and look what happens. Wow. And then you're going to ask them, what is this? And hopefully they're going to say, it's a balcony. And then you can ask, um, what do you see on this balcony? Yeah, what is on the balcony? And ho hopefully they're going to say, um, there are some plants, there are some chairs, and so on. And then you're going to praise them. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, now next question. How many people are there in the picture? And hopefully they're going to say, one, 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 one person. Then you click next and you say, yes, that is correct. There is one person in the picture. And then you can talk a little bit about um, this picture. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? What is he doing? He is sitting on the chair. Very good, children. You are so, so clever. So as you can see, uh, this beautiful zoom animation adds a little bit of extra pizzazz, a little bit of extra oomph to your slides and children are going to appreciate it. And also it's much more visual um, than just a picture. So let's learn how to make it from scratch. So I'm going to delete this, these two slides and then uh, we are going to make them together from scratch. Okay, so when you open up your PowerPoint uh, application, here is what you see. So the first thing you want to do, you want to get rid of these blocks. So uh, right click, layout, and choose blank. This way it looks uh, more beautiful and it's more convenient to work. Next thing we want to do is to insert a picture. I've already prepared mine, so we click insert, pictures, this device, and uh, this is the picture I have, but you can work with your own pictures. It all depends on the lesson that um, you are preparing. So as you can see, this picture does not really fit our slide. But I'm going to show you a little trick how to uh, fill the picture uh, onto the slide. So click on it, double click, then crop. Uh, you need to click on the drop down menu and then choose aspect ratio 16 to 9 because it's the aspect ratio of the slide. Yeah, then you can play with it a little bit. For example, I think, yeah, this looks good. Click outside and now look what happens. Drag it to the corner and then it's going to fit your uh, slide perfectly. Now, uh, to create our zoom animation, the first thing we want to do is to duplicate the slide. So click on the slide, right click, and you see here, duplicate slide, do that. Boom, done. So we are going to be working with this slide, the second one. Now we need to choose an object we would like to uh, animate, we would like to zoom. So uh, this balcony, right? So uh, f the first thing we wanna do is to insert a circle. So we click insert, then shapes, 
and we choose basic shapes oval here now look uh if you insert it just like that it's gonna look like an oval it's not gonna look like a circle so you need to press and hold the shift button if you do that it's going to be a perfect circle you see there we go so press and hold the shift button there we go now you can release it and you can um, place it where you want uh, on your slide okay then we go to shape fill shape fill no fill and also we need to work with the shape outline so i'm going to go with red and also i need to uh, choose the weight i want it to be thicker i think this one six points this looks good enough and maybe i'll make it a little bit um bigger so it looks more beautiful there we go there we go okay all right uh, next thing we want to do we need to cut it out so click on the whole image double click on the whole image then you see the scrub button again click uh, don't click on the button but click on the drop down menu here on this arrow and ch uh, choose crop to shape choose basic shapes oval yeah this is what's gonna look like it's not perfect but stay with me we're working on it so again go to uh the crop button uh, click on the arrow and choose aspect aspect ratio one to one and now that's important you need to press and hold the shift button <clears throat> and then you need to fi uh, uh, fit this image into our circle just like so so let's do that let's make sure it looks good okay bear with me bear with me okay i think i think it's all right yeah okay all right great now release the shift button and you can click outside the picture boom and we have our um uh, circle here yeah now uh, we are going to cut it and uh, paste it into the first picture so here's what we're gonna do first of all we need to choose it <clears throat> and there are two objects here the circle and also uh the picture yeah so we choose them both and then we have uh we need to press ctrl x which is a uh, key combination for cut and then uh, we go to the first image and we press ctrl v which is a fast combination of paste and now um our our circle and shape are exactly where we want them to be and we can delete the second slide because we don't need it anymore now we'll be working with the first slide okay so now the fun part let's animate it yeah so first again we need to choose these two objects here we go this is how we do that then we go to animations uh, we can open the animation pane so you can see what's happening here and we are going to choose our first animation it's going to be this one under emphasis grow and shrink boom there we go but we're not there yet we're not done yet uh, we want to make it uh, a little bit more beautiful so click on that circle that we choose before yeah the the red one here we go and now let's add one more animation and that's important don't just uh, choose it from the ribbon but click add animation and then choose let me see wheel this one and this is what happens 
So now look, um, uh, lo uh, uh, look at the uh, objects, uh, animated objects in the animation pane. Uh, we have three, but we need to move the first one, the one that um, is a wheel, to uh, the front one. It needs to be the first. And the next animation, like the first one happens on click and the next one should happen uh, after previous this way and we are done my dears it is done let's take a look how uh, it looks like in the slideshow yeah so let me go into the slideshow mode and here we go we have a picture you're talking to your children but uh, when you click next uh here's what happens we have this beautiful zoom animation there we go you've learned it well done well done i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and also please don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on this way you'll never miss a single upload and also you will help me grow my channel because this way the uh, youtube algorithm is going to push my videos and more people are going to see them and that's important for me thank you very much have a beautiful day